Function calling is one of the best thing happened to LLMs in the last few months. Function calling is a powerful feature that significantly enhances the capabilities of large language models. It enables better functionality, immediate data access and interaction and sets up for integration with external APIs and services. So if you have your own legacy application or even a modern serverless application which exposes itself through an API, you can integrate that application with any LLM just with the help of APIs or function callings. That's it. Function calling is also called as tool use, but these terms can be used interchangeably. In this video, I am going to show you the exceptional function calling capabilities of this awesome model OpenHums. The OpenHums model family is quite awesome in terms of quality. I have done various videos on it in the last few days, so please search the channel where you can install it locally and play around with it. This Llama 3 8 billion OpenHums is a fine tuned on top of Llama 3 8 billion model, which I also have covered in detail. But in this video, I will be focusing on the function calling capabilities of this OpenHums model, which is fine tuned of Llama 3 8 billion from um, the matter. Now, the tool which I'm going to use for it is Olama, which is one of the easiest, fastest and quickest tool to run the models locally. And the fire data is what does the magic of bringing in function calling memory and knowledge to that. I'll be using its open source version and I will drop the link to it in video description too. So let me take you to my local system and then we will start cracking. So this is my local system where I'm running Ubuntu 22.04. I have one GPU card of 16 GB VRAM and my memory is 32 GB. Let me clear the screen. The first thing which we need to do is to git clone the fire data repo. And the command is simple. Just simply do git clone and then fire data dot git. Okay, so I already have it. Maybe I will just remove it for the sake of it so that we have the clean slate. I have removed it, clear the screen and then let me clone it again. That is done almost very lightweight. Okay, let's go to fire data. And if we do the LS, uh, you would see that there are a lot of cookbooks there and uh, tidbits. So maybe we'll go to one of the cookbooks which they have provided us. And there is a lot of goodies in that one if you are interested. The tools or function calling is same as I mentioned earlier. So let me clear the screen. Now, first thing we need to do is to use Olama to pull open herms. And if you don't know how to install Olama on your local system, I already have done videos on it. But just to give you a head start, let me quickly take you back to Olama's website. All you need to do is to just click on this download and then click on Linux. And from there, just grab this command and this is going to install Olama on your local system. That's how easy it is. Okay, let's go back to our terminal. Now, first up, let's download the, um, this OpenHumps model. And the command is simple. And I will quickly show you, this is my Olama running already. And I don't have OpenHumps at the moment. So I'm just going to do Olama pull OpenHumps. That is going to download the model and it just is in the Docker format and it just downloads the layers. And you can see that the size is just 4 gig, speed is quite good. Almost there, it is pulling it and then it is going to check the um, check some of it and then it is going to run it on your local system. Almost there. There you go. So now it is running. Let me clear the screen. You can run it too if you like. And in order to run it, all you need to do Olama run and open. And it is going to run it here. So you can talk with it and you can do whatever you want. But I'm not going to talk with it. I just want to do the function calling. Okay, in order to install the function calling capabilities of Fire Data, let's create a virtual environment which will keep everything nice and tidy. So let's go with, I'll just say, maybe open hums here. 
open hands or op maybe let's see op it is going to create this op environment for us that is done and now let's activate this op environment you can name it anything you like i'm just going to go with op just to make things easier and quicker and you can see that now the op is in the parenthesis so it means that we are in that virtual environment and now let's install our requirement so i'm just going to say pip install dash r and requirements dot txt it is going to install all the requirements needed in this virtual environment so let's wait for it to finish and then we are going to run it everything is installed nice and tidy so let me clear my screen here now in order to run it all you need to do is to use this streamlit command which is going to launch this application locally and you can access it in the browser and it already has installed the streamlit so let me run it quickly and you can see that it is it just took a split second and it is running locally on my system so let me Let's try to access it in the browser and then we will see how it goes. So let me quickly go to my browser and launch it. And it should be running on port 8501. I'm just going to launch it on my browser. Just give me a sec. So this is where it is running. And you can see on the left hand side it has already selected that Herms to Pro Lama 3. And then there are a few tools. So for example, you can check with Yahoo Finance and there is another tool, DuckDuckGo search if you want to do the browser search. And there are a lot of other um, uh, models which I have already on my system, but I'm just going to go with Hums too. Uh, you can go with Yahoo Finance, you can ask the stock prices. For example, I'll ask it, what is the stock price of, let's say, uh, maybe Alphabet. Okay, because I think I don't have that uh, internet availability on that one. Let me try to ask it another question to see what exactly. Maybe I'll ask for the NVIDIA, maybe. Let's see. Oops. Okay, so it is giving me this error. Let's check on the terminal what is happening. Let me take you terminal and we will troubleshoot it. So if you go to the terminal, this is the error we are getting and it is telling us uh -huh, so if you look the error so what is happening is that i downloaded the wrong model it is asking me to download this model so let's download that model so what i'm going to do in order to download this model i'm just going to press ctrl c here let's clear the screen and first use Olama pull again to download this model. And then let's wait for it to download and then we will run our streamlit application again. We don't have to repeat all the rest of the steps. This model is bit big. You can see that the size is 8.5 gig. So let's wait for it to finish. Should not take too long now. model is almost downloaded and then it is verifying the checksum now now it shouldn't take too long that is done let's clear the screen and launch the application again and it is running let's go to my browser and access it again we just have to reload it let me find where my browser is i have so many screens open so let me try to take you there let me reload this thing there you go much looks much better now let's just ask the same question what is the stock price of alphabet there you go this time it works because the model is correct and it is running at the top right as you can see you can stop it and there you go this is the stock price let's see if it is able to get the stock price from australia what is the stock price of um, VDHG maybe? I think it is only US based because, but anyway, let's check. 
yeah it does let's also try the tuck tuck go search i'm just asking it who is fahad mirza no the more famous one the youtuber let's see if it is able to find me nope okay so i'm not famous yet anyway but you can see that how easy it is to do the function calling with open hums too and its function calling is actually quite quite good and i have just given you these yahoo finance and these sort of stuff you can check from the fire data's website they have a lot of other examples you can read their docs you can of course build your own functions i have few videos around it to build the functions and then try to use them and this is how easy it is to build them just import the libraries initialize your assistant call any tool and this is a function call you can put in any function call of your choice and then you can use it out that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed it and again a huge kudos to olama they are awesome if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching